Okay, recently we were looking at uh, taking uh, Word documents, that's doc, doc files, and converting them to a text file using uh, CatDoc. Well, when you install CatDoc using Aptitude or whatever package manager you use, it also installs another program called XLS2CSV. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that a CSV file is a comma separated uh, file. Basically, it's, it's like a database or a spreadsheet uh, that's in plain text, and it's um, divided up by a delimiter. Uh, usually a comma. I don't always use a comma. Um, but uh, basically we're going to be converting an XLS file, which is a Excel spreadsheet, a Microsoft spreadsheet, to a CSV file. So uh, first we have to have a spreadsheet file. And here I just quickly made up one, put in some random information. Let's go ahead and save that. I'll save it uh, as a Microsoft Excel file. Let's see, uh, do, 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 right there. And we will go to our temp folder. I'll just save it as um, test.xls. And it's giving me a warning that I'm converting it from an open document format uh, to a, a proprietary uh, XLS format and that I may lose some formatting as possible. I'm going to uh, save it as an XLS format anyway because that's what we're working with today. So next thing I need to do, open up a terminal. Let's make this a little bit bigger here so you can see it. And I'll go to my temp folder. And once again, you have to install XLS to CSV, uh, but it's under the package catdoc. So you would sudo aptitude install catdoc or use whatever package manager you want for an application called or a package called catdoc. Uh, and I've already gone over cat doc, but when you install that, you also get XLS. Oh, you know what? I just, <laughs> let's install it. I don't have it installed because I actually just formatted my machine last week, uh, and I forgot about that. So sudo aptitude install cat doc. And then, of course, type in your password. And it's downloading the package cat doc. Once that's installed, I'll clear the street screen and uh, you can type clear. I've had a lot of people tell me that I can hit control L to clear the screen and that does work. I just tried it there. I've had at least two posts on my videos telling me that. Uh, it's just a little bit quicker than typing clear, so I thank the viewers who posted those comments. Anyway, now that we have cat doc installed, we can XLS to CSV and then we'll do dash C and then uh, backslash and then we're going to give it the character that we want to separate the columns by. So in this case we'll say a comma and then uh, what did I name that file? test.xls. So we do that and you can see right here we get a comma separated output. Uh, so we have each column, so let's look back at our file here. We have a column with we'll say usernames, melix1000, melix2000, tux and user and then we have columns with colors we got blue and red, green, black, silver in that column, and so forth and so on. If we come back here, you can see that between the commas and then in parentheses as well, uh, and that helps uh, later on if you're working with files where someone may have put a comma inside their, their um, column, inside their field, uh, the, the quotations help uh, alleviate issues with that if you wanted to use cut or some other tool to cut out the columns. So that's, that's the simplest uh, little use of this application. That's xls2csv-c backslash and then whatever character you want to divide it up by. Let's try it with a pipe symbol in this case. Uh, and then the name of your xls file, your excel spreadsheet file. And there you go, you said do the same thing and put it inside quotations and also divide it up by the, um, the, the pipe there. Of course, you can always man or help uh, with this file and it gives you a few other options there and you can man. It does have other features other than just that basic feature, some other options you can throw in there. Uh, you can have a, a look through that for more information. Um, if you wanted to output this to a file, simply redirect it to whatever file you want. We'll say uh, test.csv. So now that output's in there and I can cat out that file. Oops. And there we go. If I wanted to see just the first two columns, of course I can use cut dash 
uh, D for delimiter, and our delimiter would uh, be the uh, pipe symbol in this case, and we'll say fields uh, one, and there we got the first column. I can do a comma and a two, and there we got the first two columns. Um, we can also, uh, no, I did that wrong. Give me a second here, I'm drawing a blank. Somehow, I hate when I make a fool of myself, I guess there, well, that didn't work. But <laughs> um, there is a way to put stuff between the columns. I'm drawing a blank. Um, I'm sure I'll get comments on that. But um, but that's it. That's the command. Uh, XLS2CSV-C backslash and then the special character you want to divide the columns up by, the name of your Excel file, and then you can redirect it into a text file or a CSV file, which is a text file. Um, so I hope you found that useful. And of course, once it's a CSV file, you can always import it back into your spreadsheet. Um, so just for fun, let's do that. So I'll export that. Once again, we'll cat it out, make sure that it outputted properly. There's our CSV file. Let me, uh, we can close this here and we'll say spreadsheet. We'll say open. And we should be able to come here, find our CSV file, click open, and it will give us options. And by default here, it's going to try to divide it by a uh, by one of these characters and use the quotes. We have the quotes, but uh, we used a pipe symbol. So by default, if you use a comma, you should be fine. I'm going to check other, put in this pipe symbol, and there you go. You can see it gives you a little preview here. We can click OK. And we're back to our regular spreadsheet besides losing some formatting because we went to a plain text file. But everything should be in the proper columns. So that's converting to uh, plain text or a CSV file using XLS to CSV. And uh, I quickly showed you a simple way to import it back into a spreadsheet file if you needed to. Uh, but once again, CSV files are very convenient since they're plain text. You can open them on any computer and manipulate them in any way you want. And usually most programs that have some sort of uh, spreadsheet or columns or database table type thing, you can usually import CSV files to them uh, in some way. So CSV files are very flexible, although not uh, feature rich as some other formats. Anyway, I've talked long enough. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you visit filmsbychris.com. Hope that you have a great day. Also check out the links in the description for sample code. <music>